Today, October 9th, is Hangul Day here in Korea. Various ceremonies and festivals are held to commemorate the invention of the Korean alphabet. One particular event brought together people from all walks of life, ranging from lawmakers to students. The highlight was a congratulatory speech by the Prime Minister himself. Cha sang mi starts us off with the message that comes in the wake of ongoing verbal battles over the peninsula. Commemorating the 571st anniversary of the invention of Korean alphabet, Prime Minister Lee na gave a speech during a ceremony at the Sejong Center for the Performing Arts in Seoul on Monday. During the speech, he highlighted the intentions of King Sejong the Great, who created Hangul in the 15th century. Recently, the war of words surrounding our territory is getting harsher. I am sure King Sejong the Great wouldn't have expected these tough times would come when he invented Hangul. Prime Minister Yi claimed that the people of Korean Peninsula, both south and north, are descendants of King Sejong, and that he would have dreamt of us exchanging heartful words and living in peace and prosperity. Yi also underscored his resolve in maintaining peace in the region. Our government will continue to cooperate with the international community to keep pressuring and convincing North Korea. We will also never forget, no matter how big the problem gets between the South and the North, to resolve any issues in a peaceful manner. He expressed the government's regret over the current situation with North Korea and said they will be the first to reflect on whether they are using the sacred meaning of Korean language and symbols correctly. The Prime Minister also honored various people who have helped spread the Korean language around the world and brought up the increasing popularity of Korean with more and more people studying it as their second language. Ta Sang-mi, Arirang News.